Well, today we're here with Robert from the uh, Veterans Multipurpose Center, and this is a, a veteran run and founded organization that helps veterans with uh, through equine therapy. And Robert's going to tell us a little bit more about how equine therapy relates to veterans and PTSD and exactly how it helps them out. Well, thank you, yeah. and thank you for having me. Uh, yes, now, horses and humans together can form a tremendous bond together, yeah. especially when we're talking about veterans that are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. One of the problems that we have trying to deal with PTSD is the isolation that veterans go through. They're not necessarily want to be involved in yeah. anything. Yeah. Uh, they'd be hypervigilant. Uh, all, all of the standard symptoms that you read about PTSD or TBI. To develop a relationship with a horse takes time and patience. Yeah. Anybody with PTSD is quite aware Patience is a big word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do we Very do that? Big. Well, it's quite simple. If you want to develop a relationship with a horse, you have to have patience. Yep. If you don't, you have to learn. And build that trust. Build that trust. The horse can actually sense your heartbeat wow. from about three feet away. Wow, wow. I did not know that. Okay. Any fear that he senses, he wants to leave. Get away. Yeah. yeah. He just wants to get away. Yeah. So that's a little bit about what happens with a, a veteran and a horse, how they can form that bond, yeah. and how they can learn to cope. Yeah. Now, when I say cope, yeah. because there is no cure, yeah. Yeah. so the only thing they can really do is to learn coping skills. Exactly, yeah. Learn how to try to manage our stress mm -hmm. and how to shut it off. Not only great therapists, they're just great friends. Yeah. They are. Great right animals. So tell us about how how this whole thing got started. Like what was the idea behind it and what made you go, hey, I want to do this for better. Right. Well, uh, I've been uh, the director of this organization since 1989. Oh, wow. wow. And so I've worked with a lot of peers, a, a lot of post-traumatic stress, a lot of substance uh -huh. And I decided, well, I'm in. I live in a cow town in Davie, Florida, yeah. and why don't I see if I can get some help here and get some property? Uh -huh. And so I talked with administrators in the town of Davie. Uh, they offered us a space, and we started uh, inviting veterans to come in. It's it's not only the horses. Yeah. We have the lake, and we have a pontoon boat, okay. 24 foot. And we can go out oh, and fish in the, yeah. in the lake yeah. over there. And we have the obstacle course over here that we can work with the horses in the bathroom. Very cool. Yeah. And we have a little bunkhouse here. And uh, so we can do overnight or weekend. Wow. Husband and wife that That's might, cool. be, yeah. Yeah. might little need, need a little time. Yeah. So it, it's a combination of therapy and recreation. So I wanted to, I wanted to highlight that your program is mostly volunteer run, not a lot of state or federal funding. Most of your funding comes from private donors exactly. and local community local, donors yeah. that, that help keep this program running. Yes, uh, we've been fortunate in that respect that when we were down south, we were, over a period of time, we developed a number of corporate sponsors. Yeah. And we have some sponsors that have been with us for 20 years. Wow. You know, and don't make it a once a year donation, mm -hmm. twice a year donation. Yeah. Uh, sometimes in kind donations, mm -hmm. of course, tax, mm -hmm. saddles, and stuff. Yeah. That's nice. So, yes, community has been great. Yeah. Uh, great support. That's good. Uh, now, with the pandemic, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's a little tight. Yeah. But, it does slow but down. But we, we, you know, we just kind of figure if we're doing the right thing, it's going to work. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, Robert, thanks so much for having us out today, man. This is such a cool place and it such is. a good thing that you're doing for veterans. We know you're a Vietnam veteran. Yes. So we'd like to say thank you thanks. for your service yes. and welcome home, sir. We appreciate everything that you've done for not only our country, but for the community and everything that you're doing for vets. If you guys are new to our channel, um, we visit a local veteran charity about once every three months and donate a portion of everything that we make on all of our social media platforms. So uh, right now we'd like to take a portion of everything that we've earned and help your organization out because you're doing such great things in the veteran community. So Leslie is gonna present you with this check. Oh, that's wonderful. For uh, $800. Oh boy. And we hope that's going to help. What's that going to go toward? What's it going to help that's you do? It's going to go to feed. It's going to go to feed, feed and help <laughs> the horses. Because the feed is the fuel, and the fuel I'm helps helps uh, exactly. those horses get involved with, with those veterans. And um, thank you all for watching. Just watching helps, helps us donate. raise money mm -hmm. to help veteran organizations like this. Uh, we can't wait to see how much you grow in the Florida community. Yeah. And the more that you grow, the more veterans you can help. And we can't say how much uh, that we appreciate everything that you do. So thank you so much. Yes, thank and thank you thanks for, for having us out today. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Our pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for the feed. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Our pleasure. Yeah. Now, we're going to leave a link in the description of this video mm -hmm. to this organization. You can go right on there. They have a donate button so you can donate directly to the organization. Uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.